We've seen this great revolution in the media landscape in the last uh, 20 years. Um, in a world where the tools for communicating people are constantly changing, how are the rules for best practice for effectiveness, how are the rules changing? If you build your business or try to build your business just using short-term efficiency measures, you know, cost per response, click-through rates, that kind of thing. You're on a hiding to nothing. You're going to run your business into the ground, we believe, because those are not the things that grow the business long-term. There is a general assumption that the rules must be changing. The tools are changing, so the rules must be changing. What would the world be like if, if this was true? Well, there are a number of consequences. The first is, um, brands would be growing through loyalty. You do need both long-term brand building and short-term activation efficiency in a well-specified marketing campaign. You need them because they, they work together. Long-term brand building makes all the other metrics grow, makes all the other uh, efficiency measures increase. Um, but you also need that short-term activation stuff to kind of tap in to the strength of brands that you that you you built. When you get those two things working together, everything works well. Social media was to, supposed to change all this, but what we see is what we've always seen, which is that brands primarily grow through acquiring customers, through increasing penetration, not through increasing brand loyalty. Another assumption that's made about um, this new world we live in is that you no longer need paid media to do this stuff. Um, You've got owned media, you've got earned media, and in the new world, you can achieve great results simply by using people as your, as your sales force, if you like. If you, if you have a, 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 an engaging idea, it will spread virally. Um, people will share it for you. And the old idea that you need to just chuck money at it uh, to get massive exposure is no longer relevant. Short-termism can be a threat to creativity, yes. I think um, often when you're only measuring the short-term responses to things, um, you can get a misleading steer to how creativity is affecting uh, consumers at an emotional level. And it's the emotional responses to creativity that are the things that really drive long-term growth and long-term profit for brands. Um, so one can get into this very functional, rational mindset where you know you've got to get, you've got to make the logo bigger, you've got to, uh, you've got to include those specific prof product points that that will get people to click on the on the link or whatever. Um, that's great for, for short-term responses, but in, but that's not necessarily the thing that, that, that drives the brand forward in the long term. Uh, if you can get people to share your stuff, then. Uh, Yes, you can have really big uh, improvements in the effectiveness of, of your other, other media. Um, but that stuff doesn't work unless you have paid media as well. On average, we find that campaigns that use paid media are about three times as effective as campaigns that just rely on owned and earned media.